So welcome. My idea for today is that we work strength again and especially that core strength to work with the um, jump throughs and jump backs. I'll be giving options just so that you know what the um, options are when it comes to jumping through, just so that you have your variation and you're able to do it smoothly. And um, again, the idea with yoga is that we are conscious of all the movements, so you don't just give up and you also give up on your breath, but you can safely and smoothly pass through your arms on your way forward and on your way back. We'll start with a strong um, warm up and then we'll be on the floor to do all of the uh, jumps. Okay, so you can come to your mat, come to the front of your mat or the space that you're using. Press down into the big toe mounts, pinky toe mounts, and heels. And then lift up through your chest. Pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down the back and reach up through the back of the skull. Relax the muscles of your face. Relax your body. Bring your hands to your chest. Take a moment to be present. Leave behind anything that happened during the day, anything that's going to happen after this class. We'll start by chanting an OM. Press down into the feet. Inhale, reach the back of the skull up. Get ready for OM. You need your arms by your sides, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down the back. Connect with your breath. Your jaya breath is an option, contracting the lower part of the throat. Shivananda salutations. Inhale, open up the chest, bring the arms up, back bend slightly, and exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, your right foot back, right knee down, open up your chest, and exhale, knees, chest, chin to the ground. Keep your elbows in. Inhale, slide forward, press tops of the feet down, pull the shoulders back, and exhale, downward facing dog. Push into the hands, reach the heels up. Inhale the right foot forward, left knee down, come to the fingertips, push the chest forward, and exhale, come to the front of the mat, fall over the legs. Inhale, rise up, reach up, back bend, and exhale, hands by your sides. Inhale your arms up, keep pressing the feet down, keep your lower belly sucked in, and exhale, fall forward, keeping the lower belly sucked in. Inhale the left foot back, knee down, push the chest forward, open up the chest. And exhale, knees, chest and chin to the ground. Keep your elbows in, pull the shoulder blades back. Inhale, slide forward, press the feet down, really open up the chest. And exhale, push into the hands, send the heels up and away. Inhale the left foot forward, right knee down, fingertips, chest up. And exhale, come to the front of the mat, fold over the legs. Press it down, inhale, rise up, reach up and back bend. And exhale, hands to the chest. Surya Namaskara A. Inhale the arms up, reach up, straight arms. And exhale, fall, lower the legs. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, walk or hop back, chaturanga. Bring the knees down if you need to. Inhale, slide forward, press tops of the feet down. And exhale, push to come back. Downward facing dog, five breaths. If you need to do any movement to stretch, 
Bend on the knees to stretch the ankles, the feet. You can do it. Keep pushing down into the arms, stretch the, sh the shoulders and widen the shoulder blades. Send your lower belly in, reach it forward, pick up the back bottom ribs, reach the rib cage towards the hands. Inhale here, reach it back through the heels, up through the hips. And exhale, reaching further away. Inhale, bend the knees and lower foot forward, half lift. And exhale, fold over the legs. Press feet down and inhale, rise up straight up. Exhale, arms by your sides. Surya Namaskarabi. Inhale, Utkadasana. Pull the belly, pick up the chest, the arms, and exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward, press tops of the feet down, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot forward, left heel down, rise up, water one. Exhale, fold, Chaturanga Dandasana, your variation. Inhale, slide forward, press it down. And exhale, push back. Inhale the left foot forward, water one position, left side. Press down into the heels. And exhale, fold forward. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, slide forward. Keep pressing hands and feet down. And exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Keep pressing inner hands and outer hands down. Four, four. Keep your lower belly sucked in, reaching towards the heart. Four, three. Really lengthen your shoulders, so press into the hands, then reach the shoulders towards the hands. Four, two. Keep widening the shoulder blades, and keep reaching your pubic bone up towards the sky. Four, one. Pull the lower belly in, inhale, or hop forward. Exhale, fold over the legs. Press it down, inhale, Utkatasana, weight on your heels. And exhale, come up. Open up the feet, keep distance apart, bring the arms forward, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. And exhale, squat back, squat down. Keep the lower belly in, pick up the chest, four, five. Keep pressing the feet down so the thighs working, four, four. Reach forward through the hands, reach back through the shoulders, four, three. Up through the crown of the head, down through the shoulder blades, four, two. Stay with it, strong belly, four, one. Inhale, rise up, bring your hands to your waist. And exhale, fold over the legs, grab big toes. Bring all your weight forward and keep reaching down through the strength of your lower belly, four, five. If possible, straighten the legs. Keep pressing down into the balls of the feet and then really suck lower belly in and use your core strength to come lower, four, four. Keep reaching the pubis up towards the sky and keep reaching the belly button down towards the toes, four, three. Keep your shoulder blades relaxed, but keep the legs active, keep your core active. Four, two. And one, inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, hands under the feet, and fold down right away. Four, five. Again, shift your weight forward, keep pressing balls of the feet down. Four, four. Relax your shoulders, but keep the crown of the head reaching down, four, three. Sag lower belly in, reach towards the feet, four, two. Shift the weight a bit further forward, reach the pubic bone a bit further up, four. Inhale, pick up the chest, 
and exhale, hands to the mat. All right, so one foot distance from the feet to the hands, push into the hands, and really lift the heels up to lift the hips off the ground. So really lift the hips away from the ground. So shift your weight forward, push into the hands, and this is what we'll want later to jump through. So take this seriously, really straighten the arms, really use the belly strength to push down, four or five. Keep your weight coming forward and keep your shoulders straight, four or four. Come further up to the tippy toes, reaching the hips up, four or three. And then keep pushing the hands down, gazing in between the hands, four or two. And one, come down first, relax. So we'll do it one more time, and this time we will shift and try to suck the hip in to bring the right foot off the ground and then the toes to the um, arm. And then you take the foot down, you keep pushing with the hands, you suck the left leg in and bring the left toes to the ground. Okay, so try it. There's a lot of flexion going on and a lot of hip flexor engagement. So you're really uh, sucking everything in. So relax the arms, then take the palms down, push down, reach up through the hips, reach up through the heels, and then pushing into the hands, inhale, lift the right foot up. Exhale, see so if you can touch the wrist or higher up on the arm. Inhale, foot back, and exhale, foot down, left foot. Inhale, left foot up, exhale, push up, and down. one more time each side. Push into the hands, pull the lower belly in. Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, toes to wrist or higher. Inhale, foot back, and exhale down. Left foot, inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up, and exhale down. Okay, good job. Release. Bring the hands down. Push into the hands. Then we want to Jump back. So push into the hands with the same uh, sucking in of the belly. You lift the hips up and then kick back. So face forward, push into strong straight arms, bend the knees, hop back, up, and then back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, outward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing. Inhale, the right foot forward. Warrior two position. Open up the left foot. Parallel to the short side of the mat and come up. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and breathe four five. Four. Three, keep reaching away through the arms. Two, relax the shoulder blades down, head up. And one, we'll straighten the front leg, bring the back foot in, and go for trikonasana, triangle pose. You can grab the shin, the ankle, or the big toe, but make sure you don't fall down. It's not um, a pyramid fall. You're opening up. So press into the feet, reach up through the arm, and breathe, four, five. Strong legs and strong belly engagement, four, four. Three, two, and one. Left hand forward, and then press the feet down. Find the belly strength to bring the right arm up. Four, five. Keep pressing down into the feet. Keep the belly strong. Four, four. Relax the head, but reach away through the arms. Four, three. Keep pressing down into the feet, strong legs. Four, two, suck lower belly in and up, open up the chest. Four, one, hands to the ground. Keep the legs as they are. Press the back foot down to push the left hip forward. So scissor the hips together. If needed, bring the back toes in. Otherwise, keep the back foot at 90 degrees. Open up the chest and then from here, you can lift the left hand to the inside of the right foot or go for the outside. Uh, re revolves triangle. So pick up the right arm and reach away four or five. Strong straight legs. It starts from there 
and then you suck the lower belly in and towards the chest for four. Push the left shoulder forward to pull the right shoulder back. Four, three. Reach up through the right arm. Keep pressing down through the feet. Four, two. Don't forget to breathe. Four, one. Good. Bring the hands down. So options again for side angle. You bring the back foot all the way back and then you can bring the right elbow above the knee and open up to this variation or you can keep the right foot hand on the ground to the inside is easier to the outside it's not so easy and then bring the left arm up and overhead four five keep pressing the feet down suck lower belly in open up the chest four four Keep the left shoulder moving back and reach our way through the fingertips. Four, three, two, and one. All right, bring the hands down, bring the left knee down, and tuck the toes. Pull the lower belly in and rise up. Bring your hands to the chest and exhale, twist to the right. From here, hook the elbow to the outside. And you can stay, or you can open up the arms, and you can stay, or you can tuck the back toes under and lift up. Four or five. Reach the arms away, and if you want to deepen the lateral, bring the arm overhead. Four or four. If the arm is overhead, external, ex, yeah, externally rotate the, sho the shoulder and the arm. Four or three. So palm facing down and back. Four or two. Keep pushing the left shoulder forward, the right back, opening the chest. Four, one, all right, arms up. Keep the lower belly in, push down into the hands. So again, this same pushing, just like we were doing before, and that same sucking action from the lower belly and from the hip. So lift the foot off the ground, and then take it back. Bring the foot back and try it again. So push into the hands, round the back, lift the foot off, and then take it back. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Keep the elbows in. Inhale, slide forward. And exhale, come to child's pose. Take five deep breaths. Remember, this is your refuge whenever you need a break. Second side, press down into the hands and come to the downward facing dog. Push into the hands, reach up through the hips. Set lower belly in and then inhale the left foot forward, right foot open, warrior two position. Keep the front knee over the heel, press feet down, lift up through the glutes, through the pelvic floor, through the chest, reach out way through the arms, pull back through the shoulders, down through the shoulder blades, four, five. Four, three, two, and one. Straighten the legs, bring the back foot in. Pick up the chest and reach the left hand forward, hand to the shin or to the ankle or to the toe. Reach up through the top arm, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. If you're gazing up, make sure that the neck is long, otherwise really relax the head. Four, five. Keep the legs active and find that sucking action from the lower belly. Four, four. Create a vacuum in your lower belly, reach up through the rib cage. Four, three. Keep your shoulder blades reaching towards the sacrum. Four, two. Three. Four, one. Evolve, uh, sorry, bring the left hand up and then the right arm down. Almost missed it. Four or five. Keep pressing down into the feet, open up the chest. Four or four. Lots of core action. Four or three. Bridge our way through the arms. Four or two. Press down into the feet. Strong, straight legs. Four or one. Good. Now come down. Scissor the hips. So now you feel like the back leg is open. Before it was the front hip that was open. So square the hips forward, and then right hand to the inside, 
all the outside, reach away to the left arm, evolve triangle, four, five. Keep pressing down into the feet, straighten the legs, four, four. Keep your glutes active, scissor the hips, and then from that action, pull our belly in, vacuum it, four, three. So create a vacuum there, pick up the ribs, and twist from the ribs, four, two. Reach out way through the arms, pull shoulder blades down the back. Four. Uh, bring the hands down. Choose your variation for triangle pose. Five, five, one, seven, four, five. Keep pressing the right outer foot down. Activate the right glute. Four, four. Keep your lower belly sucked in. Open up the chest. Four, three. Clack the left shoulder blade down the back, reach away through the fingertips of the right hand, four, two. And one, slowly, hands down, bring the knee down, and hands to the chest. So start with the hip square, suck the lower belly in, pick up the chest, and then find a twist from the chest, from the shoulders. Bring the elbow to the outside. You can choose to stay, or choose to extend, Choose to open the arms or bring the arm overhead. Four, five. Four. Pluck the right shoulder blade down and reach out way through the left fingertips. Four, three. Keep scissoring the hips together. Pull the lower belly in and help the twist. Four, two. And one. Good. Hands to the ground. Push. Push away. Round the back. Keep reaching back through the back heel also. And then inhale, pick up the left foot. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, bring the foot forward. Push down. No sound. Inhale, the left foot up. And exhale, take it back. Knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, slide forward. Cobra. And exhale, child's pose or down dog. If you have some more power, you can work a bit with your and dolphin pose, bringing the elbows down, four, five. If you're in dolphin, press inner hands and outer elbows down to push the, the chest towards the feet, four, four. Bring it into the shoulder blades, wherever you are. Inhale, widen shoulder blades. Exhale, reach away through the hips, four, two. And one. Pull the lower belly in, straighten the arms, downward facing dog, bend the knees, and then inhale, walk or hop forward. And exhale, fall over the legs. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, come up. We'll do standing head to knee, and then we'll come to the ground. So give it your all, it's your last standing pose. Left leg is holding all your weight, and then you bring the right knee up. Make sure that your hips are over the left heel. Don't allow the hips to go back. Knee is bent, foot is flexed. Suck the lower belly and then round the back. Grab your shin or your foot. Stay here or inhale and extend the leg. Stay here or exhale, elbows and head down. Four, five. Wherever you are, round the back. Four, four. Keep your feet flexed. Suck the lower belly in, lift up. Four, three. Keep breathing. Four, two. And one, stay, inhale, come up. And exhale, slowly come down. Right foot rounds down, stack lower belly in, lift up through the ribs. Bring the knee up, keeping the hips over the right foot. Flex the feet and exhale, round the spine. Grab the shin or the foot. Stay or extend. Stay or calm down. Four, five. Four, straight on the standing leg. Four, three, lower belly in and up, round the back. Four, two, pull shoulder legs down. And one, stay, open up, and come out with control. Good job. Open up the feet. Uh, mat width apart, toes out, bring your hands to your chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and exhale, hips back, and hips down. 
If you can come all the way down, come all the way down. If that's not possible for you and you're higher up, bring your hands to the ground, lift the heels, bring the heels a bit closer and allow yourself to lower down with the heels up. Then from wherever you are, heels up or down, bring your hands to your chest, pushing away through the elbows. Four or five. Keep reaching the sit bones down and reach up through the back of the head. Four or four. Keep breathing. Four or three. Two. And one. Hands to the ground, chin in, and now we will round the whole back. Think of bringing your elbows to your feet, four or five. So if your heels are down, you can also do that. Keep reaching down, four or four. Think of segmenting, segmenting the whole spine. So start with the chin in, round the upper back, round the middle back, round the lower back, four or two. And keep pressing outer feet down if your heels are down. Four, one. Good. Time to sit back and bring the feet together. Knees apart. Sack the lower belly in, pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back. Inhale here and exhale, fold. Maybe you'll stay higher up, four or five. You keep thinking of the pubis moving back, chest is trapped. Four or four. Three. Keep pressing the feet together. Four or two. And inhale and come up slowly. And exhale, use your hands to bring the knees in. Okay. So we'll extend the legs and we'll point the feet. And this will be an interesting exercise to work with our hip flexors. So we'll start with the right leg. Bring your fingertips next to the knee. Tuck the lower belly in and pick up the chest. So you might have to stay higher up. What you want is to use your hip flexor, so your leg strength, keeping your leg straight, to lift the leg up and then take it down. If it's impossible, bring the hands further back. But don't overdo it with rounding your back. Keep your chest proud. So we'll do five repetitions. If it's too easy with the hands next to the knees, bring the hands further away, keep the chest up. So keep both legs pointed, pull the lower belly in, straight legs, and let's go. So inhale, right leg up, exhale down, don't touch the ground. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, two more, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. Good. So if you need to relax the leg, on the leg. Good. Okay. We'll go to the other leg. Sack the lower belly, open up the chest. Hands next to the knees or wherever you need them to be. Point the feet, sack the lower belly in, reach forward through the chest. And then inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, don't touch. Inhale up, leg straight, exhale down. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down, good. Okay, you can release for a bit, now we'll do both legs. With both legs, you can have your hands right in front of the cupids for some more support, further forward it's harder, and back it's easier, of course. But don't overdo it with shifting your weight because in the end, you're not using your legs. So try to start the movement from the legs. So we will exhale up because it's easier. Inhale here and exhale, reach away. Inhale, don't touch, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale down, good. Bring the knees in and come to uh, Pasimottanasana, seated forward fold. Round down through the sit bones, send the pubis back. Inhale the chest up 
and exhale, fold forward. So you can stay with the uh, pointed feet variation. Keep your lower belly in and reaching forward. Pull the shoulder blades back. Fold back. Keep the legs straight. Four, four. Reach forward through the feet. Four, three. Use your core to move the chest towards the feet. Four, two. And one. Slowly come. Good. So now we'll have different options. First option will be to round the back, push with the hands, and lift the hips up. If it's too hard, you can use books or blocks to bring your hands higher. Just make sure that they're not slippery. So let's try. This time we're rounding the back. So pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, round the back. Press the hands down, push and lift the hips up. Four, five, stay up. Four, four, keep the feet pointed. Four, three, maybe bring the hips higher up. Four, two, and one. Slowly come down. So if it was too hard, repeat it. If it was okay or easy, let's go for something more. So this time you want to press the hands down, push up, lift the hips up, and use your core to round up and pull the heels back and then reach the heels forward and come down. So we need to really length, use the core strength to lift up and back. We'll be using it later for hopping. So use again all the leg strength to lift the legs close to the body. The closer you are to the legs, the easier it will be to pick everything up. So round the back, exhale, push into the hands. And next exhale, push and lift the hips up. Next exhale, shift the weight back and up. And then come forward and come down. Two more times, release the arms, then bring the palms down, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Push into the hands, point the feet. Inhale, push and lift, exhale, go back. Inhale, come forward and release. Last one, straight in three, exhale, round the back, pull the shoulder blades back, push into the hands, keep the elbows in. Inhale, lift up and exhale, go back. Inhale forward and exhale down. Good. Time to sit on top of the feet. We want again that core action. So we'll bring the knuckles to the floor, so form fists with the hands. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, round the back. And now you want to bring the knees to the chest. So press the feet down, inhale here, and then exhale. Press feet down, press hands down, and bring knees up. Inhale, come down, four more. Exhale, knees up. Inhale, down. Exhale. Inhale, down. Two more. Exhale. Inhale, down. Last one, exhale. And inhale, down. Good. Open up the palms, fingers apart, and then bring the fingers together. Open and close. And go really fast, four, five. Faster, four, four. Faster, four, three. Faster, even faster, four, two. And one. Shake it up. From fists with the hands, bring the fists forward and then bring the fists down and up. Four, five. Go faster, four, four. But control the movement to the full range, four, three. Two, and one. Fist forward and then to the sides. Four, five. So keep opening to the sides. Four, four, right and left. Three, two, go faster. Keep the arms straight. Four, one, good. And now round, so go round with the fists. Four, five, go faster. Four, three, two, and the other way, five, faster, three, go faster, two, and one, 
palm out, pull the fingers back, and then bring the hand down and pull the hand back. So push and extend, pull and flex. Push and extend, pull and flex and hold. And then pull, extend, turn the palm down, fingers down and push. Good, other hand. Pull, extend, pull and flex. Pull, palm forward, pull, palm back. One more. Palm back, flex, hold it here. And then extend and hold, pulling the fingers back, pushing the palm forward. And then turn the palm around and pull the fingers back, pushing the palm away. Good, good. And then form gentle fists with the hands and round the fist one way, roll the fist the other way. Good. And then do it with the other arm. Okay. So remember what we worked with, this hip flexor action, pulling the knees together and then pushing down into the hands and pulling the lower belly in and up. Um, jumping back is harder than jumping through for most people. <laughs> it depends. Hands in between the knees and the feet. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and around the back. Push. And this time, hold, palm down, and we'll bring the knees close to the chest. Come to the tippy toes, and bring the knees higher, hips higher, four, five. Press into the hands, four, four, three, two, and one. Okay, come down, come to kneeling position, so bring the hands forward, and then cross one shin on top of the other. Come to sit back with some weight on the hands. So now, you have the shins crossed. You want the shins to be crossed, not the ankles. And then from here, round the back, pull the shoulders by the shoulder blades down and push. Bring the knees close to the chest, four, five. Keep pushing into the hands, knees up, four, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring the knees down, switch the cross of the shins. So we'll go one more time. Maybe your feet stay on the ground, or maybe this time you bring the hands next to the feet, and you will have to lift everything, because when you bring the weight back and you push up, there's no feet on the ground. So feet can be next to the feet, or maybe under the feet, depending on how openly you're sitting. Press the hands down, push into the hands, pull the lower belly, round the back. You can bend the elbows first, or keep them straight. Push into the hands, bring the knees up, and the feet will lift up. Four, five. Keep pushing. Four, four. Knees close to the chest. Four, three. Lower belly up. Four, two. And one. Okay, calm down. Relax. This time we will lift up and walk back. So if you want to, cross the, the shins again the other way. Or stay with your favorite cross for the, last, the rest of the class. Hands down next to the feet or under the feet. Push down. Remember, it's the shins that are crossed, not the ankles. So cross up and bring the knees close to the chest. Start from here and then lift the hips up. So knees are already stuck on the chest. Push the hands down, lift up, hips up, really up. And then walk back with the feet. Exhale, Mrs. Shinor Chaturanga. Inhale, forward. And exhale. Hands shoulder width apart. Wide on the shoulder blades. Gaze forward. We'll do a few hops. So bend the knees. Push into the hands. Remember what we were doing before with the feet close to the hands. Really push into the hands. Straighten the shoulder blades. Wide on the shoulder blades. Straighten the shoulders. Up. Straighten your whole arm. Reach away. Pull the lower belly. Gaze forward. And what we're doing is bending the knees and hopping for the hips to come over the hands and then the feet to come back down. As we're doing this, we want the knees to stay close to the chest because that's what we're working with today. All the core action and all the hip flexor action. And also you can bring the heels close to the hips because later on it will be useful for everything to be stacked in. 
So try, push into the hands while I turn legs, gaze forward, bend the knees, and hop, and come back. Knees close to the body, and feet. Four, five, keep pushing. Four, four, three, knees close to the chest, four, two, and one. Come down, you can take a rest. Or you can watch what's coming. <laughs> so push into the hands. Wide well, and the shorter bits. So what we're doing now is first walking through the way that we walked back. So remember to keep the hips up and the knees close to the chest. So you'll start from down dog, gaze forward, push away into the hands as if you're going to jump, and then bring the knee to the chest, walk the foot forward towards right foot towards the left wrist, and then left knee to chest, left foot towards right hand. Keep the hips lifted. Right foot in between the hands, left foot in between the hands. Start bending through the knees, walk forward, keep pushing down into the hands, keep the thighs close to the body, walk through, keep pushing down into the hands, and then bring the feet forward. So do it. <laughs> so you might be thinking that my arms are quite long, and I think it's true, <laughs> but there's people with um, the disproportionately short arms that can do it. And the reason is that when you bring the shins in, if you have that hip flexor strength to pull everything in and then bring the knees to the chest and the heels to your butt, when you extend the arm, you have all this distance, so all this distance to jump through. So the idea is just to use the core strength and to push away through the arms while pulling everything in. So now we will do our best to hop back. Um, you can start with the feet further back. So what, ideally what we're going for is keeping everything in, pulling everything in, crossing from the shins, not the, the, not the heels, not the ankles. Hands next to the hips. You want to be able to pull the shoulders back, press down to the hands, lift everything up, and then from here, Hop back. In order to get to this, you really need that core action and that hip action and that push with the arms. So in order, to, if you have it, go for that or try that. If you have blocks or um, books, then that will make it easier to be a bit higher with the hands. But anyway, we're working towards it and we're working with variations. So don't worry if you don't have your hands elevated. Pull the shoulders back, press down into the hands, and then from here, we will try to push and lift the hips, maybe lift everything, or maybe just one foot, take it back, press down with the foot, push with the hands, take the other foot back, and walk it back. Do your vinyasa. Push away into the hands, wide your legs, gaze forward. And this time, once you're back, you will try to hop through, and maybe you won't go all the way through, but if, remember how we were hopping up? That's what you want. Hop up, push into the hands, and use that push to pull the lower belly. So you're pushing into the hands and sucking lower belly, and then with that action, you will find yourself um, um, kind of swinging. So then once you swing through, maybe your feet will not go all the way through, but you want your knees to be close to the chest. So push the hands wide in the shoulder blades. And what you want now, if you can't jump through, is to bring the feet down with the knees elevated and the hips elevated. So push and then see how high I am with the knees and the hips. And then from here, I keep pushing with the hands to walk through. The important thing is to push away through the arms with strong straight arms. Otherwise, you have nowhere to go. And if you come up to the tip, tips of the fingers, then you're destroying your base, your structure. All you have is hands on the ground to really push away and come through. Okay, so one more time, we're hopping through. Maybe cross the shins the other way. Keep your knees close to the chest, your feet close to your butt. Press the hands down, elbows in. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Remember to 
Really press down into the hands and really suck everything to the center. And then from there, this time you can use some momentum to hop to back. But remember that the hips should come up. So you cannot use the momentum and kind of, uh, it will stop you. So you want to really lift the hips up and go back. So you can use the momentum if you want to see, keep the knees close, the heels in, press into the hands. You can use the feet to kind of jump yourself back. But remember, you're going up and then back. So push up and back. So try it. And then inhale forward. And exhale back. The last one we'll do is a, is a hop through forward, really pushing into the hands. And this time you want to get your feet past the hands. So make it your challenge to push into the hands, wide and shorter blades. Gaze forward, because you want to gaze the direction where you're going. If you're gazing down or back, then you're telling your body that you want to go down or that you want to stay back. So gaze forward, push into the hands, wide and shorter blades. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Pull the lower belly in and forward. Start inhaling and then jump. While you're inhaling, jump through. Maybe you won't go all the way, but maybe you'll come here. And if you're here, then it's very easy. Keep pushing into the hands and walk the feet forward. Suck the lower belly in and pick up the chest. Okay, we're going to uh, go back for a, a stretch and then we're coming for some final jump throughs. So it's not over yet. Cycle or belly. Okay, so options arms forward and go down slowly. Keep, keep all your core strength so that your heels don't come off the ground and fall down and come down. And then you lift back up. If it was too easy, then you can have your hands to opposite shoulders and try to keep the heels down. Again, try it. Hands on shoulders. If it's easy, hands behind the head. Keep your heels on the ground. Keep your core engaged. Core, core, core. Keep pressing the heels down. Suck your belly in and come forward. And last one. And then to come up, if it was too easy, you can bend the knees, keep the heels down and lift. It's harder for me with the knees bent. My heels really need to uh, come up and then come. Good. We're going to um, put the heat. So one more. Oh, um, activation to really lift everything up. If you don't have lotus, then you'll do it with cross legs. If you have half lotus, find half lotus, full lotus, find full lotus. Bring your hands next to your thighs, press down, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. Lower belly in and up, and then shift some weight forward. Push into the hands, lift the hips up. Four, five. Lift the knees up. Four, four. Lift the feet up. Four, three. Keep lifting up to the lower belly. Four, two. Keep pushing down into the hands. Four, one. Slowly come down. Pick up the chest. Switch the legs. So other lotus, other half lotus, or other cross with the legs. One more time. Now really try to lift everything up from the beginning. Hands down, pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, suck lower belly in and up, chin in, round the back. And then from that core action, push and lift up, and then lift the chin up, four, five. Keep the lower belly in, four, four. Three, two, and one. Slowly come down. Okay, so one more time, we'll try to uh, just have the knees close to the chest and the heels close to the hips. We're not jumping back, we just want to lift. So hands to the ground, elbows in, shoulder blades back. Press down to the hands, keep your core sucking and lifting up. Push, lift the hips up, four or five. Lift one foot up, 
four, four, lift everything up, four, three, press down into the hands, four, two, knees close to the chest, four, one, hand down, cross the legs, try again on the other side. Release for a second, take a breath. Okay, so remember, it's all about knees in, so use your legs, feet in, so use your legs, core in, lift up. Press into the hands, strong straight arms, and push, lift up, four, five, lift anything you can, four, four, keep lifting up, four, three, lift up even higher, four, two, and one, slowly come. Okay, so we're going to do a hop back, a vinyasa and a hop through. And the only intention, intention you have now is to go with your breath. So you want to actually inhale, lift, exhale, kick back, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, hop through, and come to sit with your legs extended. Okay. So no overthinking, hands down. Inhale, knees in, heels in, lift up. Exhale, go back, walk or hop. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, jump through. Here we are. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. This time we're jumping through and if you have any control over the jump through, after you jump through, so while you're, when your legs come forward, you will bring the right knee to the side for Janu Shishasana A. So I'll show you. So we will, I'll show you first. So you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and then right knee in for Janu Shishasana. So go for it. I'll now walk through. So hands down and then inhale, hips up. Exhale, walk or walk up. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, hop and walk. Right foot in and exhale, fold four, five. Keep your left leg straight, four, four. Keep your lower belly sucked in, reach forward through the chest. Four, three. Two. Again, strong hip flexor, left hip engaged. Four, one. Inhale, pick up the chest. Exhale, stay here, get ready, we'll do it for the other side. So inhale, cross the legs, bring the knees up, maybe the hips up. Exhale, walk or hop back. Inhale, up the, exhale. Down dog, push away through the hands. Inhale, walk or hop through, left foot in. And exhale, fold over the right leg, four, five. Flex the right foot, four, four. Three. Two. And last one, inhale, pick up the chest. Exhale, and then inhale, hands down, pick up the knees, and exhale, walk or hop back. Follow your breath. Inhale, slide forward, and exhale, push back. Asmotanasana, straight legs. Inhale, walk or hop through, straight legs, and exhale, falls down, four, five. You can grab the toes or hands to the ground, four, four. Keep your legs straight, feet flexed, four, three. Stay with it, four, two, and one, good job. Now slowly lift up and exhale, come back. We'll finish with some um, twists. So bring your knees to your chest first, hug your knees, pull the knees close, reach the hips away. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale here, and exhale, head to knees. Inhale back, and exhale, open up the arms to a T, and then 
Shake the hips up to bring them to the left and bring your right, your knees to the right, gaze to the left, pull the shoulder blades down four or five. Four. Three. Two. And watch that lower belly in, bring this to chest, shift your hips to the right and bring the knees to the left. Gaze to the right and bring four, five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pull the lower belly in, bring the knees back to chest, hug the knees, and then bring the feet down. Dynamic reach, just to counter all the forward folding. Press the feet down, suck lower belly in, inhale, pick up the pubis and the arms, reach the arms back, the pubis up, and exhale, hips and hands by your sides. Four more, inhale up. Exhale down, synchronize the move so you touch at the last moment of the exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. You can bring the feet together, open up the knees and allow the hips to relax for the ending of the class. If it's too much for the knees to be um, open without any support, you can form fists with the hands and place those fists back next to your pelvis to support the legs slightly. Bring your chin in, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Relax your face. Take a deep inhale from your toes all the way up to the crown of the head. Open your mouth, exhale out. Two more times. Inhale deeply, deeply, deeply. Let it out. Last one. Inhale deeply. Relax the muscles of your face. Relax the fists if they're in a fist, your hands. And exhale, let go. The next few moments, lay your awareness on your belly button as it freely rises up and drops down with the help of your natural breath. So allow your whole body to be soft and allow your awareness to stay present, to stay with your belly button. Relax and watch the natural flow of your belly. Thank 
Very gently. Very gently bring your awareness back to your whole body. Back to the space occupied by your body. Inhale and allow your breath to conquer all that space. Exhale and allow any laziness, any sluggishness to just be absorbed by the earth. Now inhale power, strength, vitality all the way down to your toes, your fingertips. And exhale, just let it tingle there for a second. Inhale and turn that tingle into movement, moving the fingers, the toes, the hands, the feet, and allowing that movement to carry on through the whole body. As you exhale, you can start moving your head from side to side and keep following your natural breath as you wake the whole body up, as you stretch or as you elongate, as you reach on. Reach arms and legs away, feel long and strong, and eventually bring this chest back, bring this growth from side to side. Take it easy and find a seated position with your own pace. Do anything you need to do before coming out to sit and eventually come to sit in front of your sit bones, reaching up through the vacuum in the lower belly, reaching up through the chest, the shoulders back, the face is soft. Take one more deep breath from your pelvic floor to the crown of the head. And exhale out through the mouth, ground down. Sitting up straight, inhale your arms up straight, really reach up, elongate, stretch. And then exhale your hands to heart center, and allow your head to bow down. Take a moment in stillness, remembering all the ways to appreciate about life. And from that place of appreciation, we end our practice with one arm. So reach up through the back of the head, inhale deeply. Shanti, peace. Thank you for your practice. Brightness, the light in me, almost and celebrate the brightness, the light in you. Namaste.